Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today we are filming my December, yes, I said December, Kinder Beauty Box subscription unboxing. It is January 5th, and this has just arrived. And I know for a fact this did not ship before the end of the new year, which is very annoying. It won't go back on that die track. You can hear all my rants in my December empty video, but however annoying that is let's go ahead and take a look at what we're working with for december even though it's january and it's an extra special video because i'm going to show you what was sent in the bonus box so i went ahead and took the black friday offer for the year-long subscription and with that you get an extra bonus box so we'll look through this too but before we get started into those i am wearing a product that i just recently got i don't remember what box this was in because it's been a crazy few weeks <laughs> but i know it was one of my recent ones this is probably from the petit four box i think maybe but anyway it is from era perez and it is the beetroot cheek and lip tint so i'm wearing it today and you can see there's kind of a sheen on my lips and that is because this is so moisturizing to the touch it's completely dry but it maintains that sheen and that moisture and a little bit of a, like a luster to it which is really nice it feels fantastic it's the most comfortable stain that i've ever put on but i will say it was a little troublesome to deal with especially on my upper lip for some reason it just would not get even uh i had to really really keep going in there and playing with it so the formula is kind of struggling in that regard but after i got it where i wanted it it did dry down and look consistent and i also really like the um the doe foot on this i don't know why it's just kind of a flattened doe foot but it was really nice for applying and getting a nice precise line so that is what i'm wearing and i really really like this product i know i still have a couple of other products that i have yet to show you from last month's boxes but i've not forgotten about them they are in the drawer where i put on all my makeup and i will be wearing them soon i just really wanted to try this because it claimed it was moisturizing and it was right it is very moisturizing and very comfortable so with that said let's go ahead and look what came in my bonus box first so i have opened these up and looked in them looked in here already but this it's the card that comes in it and it is the golden hour box which i remember from like summer was one of the options of the two boxes they put out so instead of giving you a hodgepodge mix match box of random leftovers they're actually giving you a past box so actually let's talk about this product real quick because this was not in either of these boxes these boxes came piled on top of each other in another box and this was just randomly sitting on top of it so i guess maybe this was meant to go in one of these or just an extra they threw in i have no idea but it is from earth harbor it's the samphire um digital serum c retinal digital serum i don't know what digital means it's interesting and i did look at these ingredients last night because this actually did arrive on the fourth but like weirdly late at night like it came at like nine o'clock which was super strange but uh yeah so i don't think there's anything terrible in these ingredients there's like a lot of extracts but not straight oils which i'm cool with i'll probably research a few of them a little further just to make sure that i'm comfortable putting them on my skin but here is what this one looks like i don't know that i've ever received this one before it's like a uh, light green color so I am very interested in what this digital serum does. Let's see. Proven botanical that acts like retinol. So that's interesting. Okay. Let's give it a smell test. Really? No discernible smell? So that's interesting. I probably will give this one a try. But yeah, I don't know that that actually came in either of these boxes. I think it's just something extra they threw in. So, interesting. But let's get to what was actually in this box. So, I have actually received, I think, all of these products before. And it is the Colitis uh, Thirst Quenching Eye Mask. 
I actually have this open right now and have been using it on and off. It's not a mask. Mask is the wrong word for this. It's barely even a gel. It is so liquidy, just straight liquidy, that you put even just a little bit on your finger and it starts to slide down. So I'm not a huge fan of this, but it does seem to keep the eye hydrated. So I'm gonna finish it and I'll probably give this one to Austin maybe. He's just about out of his eye product that he's been using. So we'll see. Maybe I'll just give him the lots open and give this to a friend. I don't know. I don't like the, the texture. I think it hydrates the under eye just fine, but I don't like the texture. So then the next thing is the Ancient Clay Soap. This is a peppermint oil one. I love these Ancient Clay Soaps. I don't typically buy bar soaps myself, but I'll definitely use this. And it smells so good. So good. Now this product I'm actually very excited about. This is from Alikia Beauty and it is their Illuminating Natural Vegan Negro Friendly. Just says that. It's an illuminator. So I, when I do put on a full face of makeup, like to either mix this in with my foundation or put it on before my foundation. It is a fantastic illuminator. I've already got two of these and I'm planning on keeping this one too because I love it and I know I'll eventually use it all up so I won't have to repurchase that for a while and then this is something I actually have like three cans of now including this one it's the Pacifica sun and skincare sport sunscreen coconut probiotic technology broad spectrum UVA UVB continuous spray water resistant 80 minutes sunscreen so that will go with my other sunscreen that I have not opened yet because we just literally didn't leave the house all summer hardly at all and the last item in this box is the Mara Spungo cognac sponge so I've talked about it before I'm not a big fan of cognac sponges so I'll probably be giving this away yeah that's everything that came in this free box the box that came for signing up for the year-long subscription now let's see what came in the December box so they're doing the thing where you go in and choose what box you want I went in and chose the North Star box uh, I think there was something in the other box that I already owned it was a while about so I didn't want a second one I don't even remember but yeah I chose North Star so let's start with what's on top but I'm so sorry if you hear me Brian over there meowing like a crazy person. Goodness forbid she let me do something without her for two seconds. She's such a mama's girl. But the first thing on top here are these, uh, what are these even called? Nail stickers? Nail wraps, 16 premium nail wraps. And these ones are gold glitter. So it would have been nice to have these for Christmas, except we didn't do anything for Christmas. But in theory, if we weren't in a global pandemic, it would have been nice to have these for Christmas. But you know, this box came forever and a day late. So let me read to you about these. It says they're an $18 value, which just feels grossly overpriced for a nail wrap, but okay. And they are in the color champagne -y, I guess. Press on these gorgeous nail wraps for perfect sparkly gold manicure in seconds. Choose the wrap that best matches your nail size. Remove the protective layer, apply, and then file down to remove the excess. So, I am excited to use these next time I have some sort of special occasion, which who knows when that'll be. This hair, this hair is getting on my nerves. But... Yeah, I'll probably save them for when the world is not as crazy and I have some more pretty to wear them. Next item we have here is from Olinka and it's a hydrating hand sanitizer. And it's in this interesting peeps looking bottle, which I think is so funny. So let me read to you about this. It's a $5.99 value. Now that value feels a little more appropriate. And if I... The description is by far the cutest hand sanitizer you'll ever own. This bird shaped, oh, so it is peep shaped kind of. This bird shaped bottle has everything you need to spray it all away. It contains aloe, glycerin, and essential oils to hydrate your skin, and none of the harsh chemicals and toxins found in other hand sanitizers. So, I'm excited to uh, have that. It's probably be nice to keep it a high germ 
traffic area of the house or something. Maybe at the door. So, yeah. The next item is a face mask, and it looks like it's powdered from Franklin and Whitman. It is the exfoliating formula Northern Liberties face mask. So this is actually a really tiny jar. Very tiny. Nice as a sample size though, because this is not gonna take up hardly any cabinet space. So let's see, it says it's a $9.95 value. How much is this? 0.4 ounces. 12 grams so I guess that's not bad like, I suppose I don't know nine dollars and 99 cents you'll get a few uses out of that yeah I don't think that's terrible pricing so uh, this face mask that exfoliates and speeds up cellular tur turnover absorbs stale sebum and has anti-aging properties Mix with water in a non-metal bowl to form a thin paste. Apply and leave on for 15 minutes. Towel off with a warm washcloth. So I feel like it's kind of saying this does everything. <laughs> Promotes cell turnover, absorbs sebum, anti-aging properties, exfoliates. Like, I highly doubt this little thing is a miracle face mask in this tiny little jar, but I do think it'll probably be fun to try, so. I love getting face masks. The next item we have is also in a tiny little jar. This is from Artist Couture. And it's the Diamond Lights Finisher. Golden Hour is the color. So I don't know if it's like a highlighter or an eye product, like an eye glitter. This has to be for your eyes. Maybe it's like an eye top coat thingy. Here's the color. Forgive me if I really don't feel like making a mess and swatching this on my hand right now, but I promise I will use this in an upcoming video and show it to you on my eyes. I like the packaging though. I just don't like these loose products. They're so fussy and messy. But I mean, they're also always really pretty. So this is a $26 value. Seems a little small, but I guess there are other companies in line with that pricing. Diamond Lights Finisher in Gold, Golden Hour. The stunning shimmering finisher combines multi-dimensional loose pearls with silicone oil, making it melt into your skin for a sexy wet like shine use it on cheeks eyes and body okay so it's a multi-use product i'm probably not putting that on my cheeks because that color is significantly darker than me and i have to be really careful with highlighters that they don't just look like a strange color stripe on my cheek because i'm so fair but I'm definitely gonna use it on my eyes and actually if you're tanned or if you are dark skin i think this would be really pretty to highlight some of the clavicle and shoulders and maybe right down the middle of your leg on your body so that would be really pretty the last product in here is another earth harbor product and this is the cloud burst balancing gel hydrator so marine probiotics and herbal complex so that herbal word kind of worries me but let's go ahead and open it up and look at it so this is a slightly different kind of packaging than we usually get with Earth Harbor. They usually have droppers, but this is a squirt, like a, um, not a spray, but like a pump. Here's the product. So let me go ahead and look at the back of the box here, see what we're working with. So there are lots of words. <laughs> for things that I wouldn't want to put on my face, but extract is next to all of them. No explicit oils. So I probably need to do a little more research before I am okay with putting some of these things on my face, but we can always do the smell test and see what that determines. Oh yeah, no. I'm not putting that on my face. This is a floral punch in the face. So I'm, I'm not going to be using that one, unfortunately. But 
someone will get some good use out of that. And that's everything that came in the December box. So, of all the items that came, I like these. I'll use them eventually. And I like this. I'm probably most excited about these two cheap products, but also jazzed about the face mask because I always love trying face masks. And the little jar, even though like comically small, is adorable. And then this product, this finisher, looks really pretty. So I can't wait to use it on the eyes and show you guys what it looks like because I think it's gorgeous. Overall, it's okay. This is the big price product. This is the $28 value of the box, although this one's $26, so not terrible. But I'm, I'm not mad at it. So, yeah, it's an okay box. I'd say like A minus, B plus. And then the free box, I'm not going to bother judging because that was basically a bonus for signing up for the year long. But yeah, super mad that it was really late. I won't knock at the products because of the timing, but these boxes need to get their stuff together. I shared it on my Instagram stories for my food Instagram, but my vegan cuts snack box arrived missing four snacks and that arrived in the new year missing four snacks two were had replacement items but so basically i was shorted two snacks which is annoying and then my beauty box wasn't in it at all the beauty box has yet to be found i am in the process of trying to stay in touch with vegan cuts I sent them the info about the missing items, but I haven't heard diddly about the beauty box just not showing up. So <laughs> I don't even know where I stand with that. Still waiting to hear more information and I'll update you guys as I get the info, but it'd be nice to be done with my 2021 boxes. I didn't even bother filming the snack one because I was like, it's just so late at this point, it's not even interesting. So I'll probably film the snack one again when they get back on track with being on time. But yeah, I, I don't even know what to say anymore with how late these boxes are. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, you can give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. If you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit the subscribe button. And if you made it this far, you get a little extra tidbit of information. My giveaway that I have been talking about for a couple of months now, I will be doing as part of my January empties video. And it'll be at the end of that video. So be sure to keep an eye out for that towards the end of the month. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye!